assalamu alaikum everybody in this uh, video we are going to see how to connect two routers okay so let's start start by placing the PCs PC1 and PC0 we'll select a router and we'll be using again the generic router and we are going to add two routers in our setup PC1 the IP address is 192.168.2.1 and PC0 IP address will be 192.168.1.1 alright so next these are the two routers and the PCs and you can see the details next connect the wires which we have already done we'll be using the copper crossover cable and for router to router we will be using the serial DT serial serial so this is the connection which you have to implement then we will start assigning the IP addresses 192.168.1.1 subnet mask just press enter and the default gateway is 192.168.1.10 we are going to use the same so I'm copying it from here and will be go into the config and then fast ethernet on and you can see it's turning green the IP address which I just copied will be added here and the RIP I'll be adding the network address see it's 192.168.1.0 now let's see the PDU transferring it's successful from PC0 to router 0 now go back to uh, PC1 again the same process with the IP address of 192.168.2.1 and then press enter for subnet mask and the gateway will be 192.168.1.1 going to use the same in the router number one config tab fast ethernet zero zero port status turn on IP address paste the IP address subnet mask and you can see now go to the RIP add the network and it turns green also and the PDUs are going to be transferring from the router 1 to PC1 and PC1 to router 1 are successful you can look at it at the bottom right okay now go to the config and set it to one forty eight thousand. IP address will be 10 dot 10 dot 10.1 subnet mask will be 255.0.0.0 RIP will be the network ID and we have added the network address to router 1 now router port status on 148 IP address will be 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 2 copying it and pasting into the RIP routing and the network is also added so if you go and see uh, the link between the router 0 and router 1 is also green let's see 
the transfer is successful between router 1 and 0 transfer is successful between 0 and 1 and we have this PC0 to router 0 is also successful PC0 to router 1 is also successful and now PC0 to PC1 is also successful